Alright guys, I want to talk about a little bit different, something new, but it may be actually be relevant to a few people. In Cebu City at the moment, and I assume there's other parts of the Philippines suffering with this, is the LTO are fining people up to 12,000 pesos for not having their plates on their vehicles, their new motorcycles, etc. You're probably thinking, well, it's their own fault. No, it's actually the LTO that are fining them are taking up to four months to give them the registration that they need on the motorbikes to be able to legally ride it. Um, to the point that Tommy Osmena, the mayor of Cebu, has actually got involved with this, um, the mayor of Cebu City, and he's actually even offered to send people there to bring up to date the backlog, which is about 13,000. Yes, yeah, about 13,000 motorcycles where the registrations are simply not being processed fast enough. Um, and one of the things that I find completely bizarre is that the fine is 12,000, well the average Filipino ain't earning 12,000 pesos. But I also thought it would be useful for the expat community in the sense that when people have a fixed budget and try to do everything by the book, here's a prime example where you get a 12,000 peso fine, your vehicle impounded, and at the same time you can't do anything about it because it's actually caused by the people that issue the registration the same people finding you. Um, and th this is why I wanted to highlight this because quite simply I know some of you guys, 12,000 pesos is quite a bit of cash in a month, but also why <laughs> do you have to pay for something they've done? But I mean I know that's bureaucracy the world over. You do get these things happen from time to time. And I know myself, I, I think when I had my motorcycle registered it took about three months to get the um, the number plate with the registration on it. It just took ages. Um, but I normally find if you're not in uh, Cebu City itself and you're provincial, I didn't, nobody really bothers you provincial. It's normally when you go into the city, the same with wearing a helmet. It's normally when you go into the city it becomes an issue. Because um, I've got to admit, I, if I don't have to wear a helmet, I don't. I don't like wearing one. So I, I'm not one for wearing one. And I know some people go, oh, well, you know, that. what if you had an accident? It's like, I accept that responsibility. Um, but I just wanted to bring that one up today and be aware there is 12,000 peso fines for not having your brand new motorcycle registered, yet it's the people that are fining you that are not providing the registration on time. Um, one of the things I do recommend you guys, if you are Cebu City bound, keep in touch with Tommy Osmena's Facebook page. He updates everything on there anyway. So you'll, you'll see a lot of good information come out of his page um, relating to uh, traffic violations which is where he's been quite strong recently um, well worth keeping an eye on it just in case something's come up because obviously he's, he's dealing with LTO um, he's even offered to pay people's fines because, because of its uh, LTO he'll deal with it if it's inside Cebu City in the sense that it's uh, somebody who works for Cebu City directly he's wavering the fines so it is worth the effort of just following him on Facebook and seeing what he's up to Thanks for watching.